Hello again, Reverend here, and I'm going to be talking about how to automate resonance volume and resonance release time using controllers. Um, in the file, I have uh, an E0 that's going to give us a legato slide from this note to this note on condition that we have an overlap. Without the overlap, you don't get a slide. Up here, there's um, a G5 key switch, which is the silence pressing key switch, and that uh, simulates placing the palm on the strings to terminate a ringing sound. So you get a little pressing noise and then silence. And you can see here that basically it's the same thing, slide in, silence, slide in, silence. But what's changing is the level of the fader for the um, resonance volume and the amount, uh, uh, the release time of the resonance on the knob. And that knob is here. So here's our resonance release knob, and here's the resonance volume slider. And they're being controlled in the file by the levels here. CC2 and CC3 are assigned to those two knobs, and I can change it here. And I'm going to show you how to reassign those if you wanted to. If you press Alt on your keyboard and then click the resonance volume, you get this very clever window. And right here you can see that CC2 is the volume and CC3 is the resonance release time. Now if you wanted to reassign those controls to knobs or faders on your MIDI keyboard, you would press Learn and then move the fader that you want to control that effect. And it would be reassigned to the physical knob or fader on your uh, MIDI keyboard. So there we are again. Two CC2 is volume and CC3 is the uh, release time. And what I'm going to do is just play the file while showing you these controls. And this is in the file. I'm not doing anything to change these, these uh, settings. So you're going to see this slider move around, and you're going to see this control move around according to these levels here. So here we have flat out resonance volume. Then it's turned to zero, and you'll see that. Uh, later on, you'll see other changes too. So let me just play that. Okay, now just a quick note about the silence pressing. The little press noise here can be controlled with the, um, the effect knob, this one. So if you don't want to hear the pressing noise, you just want to terminate with silence, you could just pull that effect right down to zero. As far as the resonance uh, volume and release time is concerned, why would you want to do that? Well. If you had a song that started with an ample guitar part, you might want to show off the full richness. There's nothing much else going on in the song, maybe a vocal. But later on, you get a big piano that comes in. You may want to pull that fader out and let the wiry, thinner nature of the guitar poke through the mix a bit better. And you can't really do that while the file is playing, but you can automate it with CC2 and CC3 and you can reassign those controls. On behalf of Ample Sound, thanks for watching.